demonstrate how interconnected wildlife and ecosystems are. The connection that we here in the United States have with the Caribbean, the Amazon, the connection that people in Europe have with Africa, the connection people in Asia have with Africa. They're a reminder of what an interconnected world we live in, not only in terms of commerce, but also in terms of environmental health. That was Allen Press author David Wilkove, and this is Jennifer Pullinger, e-content editor at Allen Press. Welcome back to Allen Press Podcasts, which is part of Allen Interactive, your gateway to discussion, information, and solutions about all things green, located at www.islandpress.org. In this edition of Allen Press Podcasts, we talk with ecologist David Wilkove, author of the new book, No Way Home, The Decline of the World's Great Animal Migrations. David joined us by phone recently to talk about the state of animal migrations and how overexploitation, habitat destruction, climate change, and other hazards are causing big problems for nature's long-distance travelers. Is it conceivable that we'll see the end of nature's great migrations? There will always be animals migrating, but I think there's a real risk that we will lose many of the grandest and most impressive migrations. And by that I mean animals themselves will be so reduced in numbers that the migration just won't be anywhere near as spectacular as it is now. What exactly is putting migration in jeopardy? Migratory species face many of the same threats that non-migratory or sedentary species do. Migratory species are threatened by things like habitat destruction, over-harvest for commercial purposes, disease, even climate change. The problem is that migratory species are more vulnerable than sedentary species to many of these threats. For example, a migratory animal needs not only a breeding habitat, but also a wintering habitat and stopover places in between. And if any of those places in this chain are disrupted, the species can suffer. Similarly, they can be threatened by overhunting or overfishing anywhere along their migratory route. And for this reason, I think migratory species are more vulnerable than many sedentary species. And you mentioned climate change. How is that hastening the loss of migration? Climate change can be harmful to migratory animals in two ways. First, it can destroy important habitats for migratory species. For example, sea turtles come ashore to lay their eggs on particular beaches. A rising ocean, which is one likely consequence of climate change could submerge those beaches, essentially erasing that essential habitat. The second way climate change threatens migratory species is by disrupting essential relationships between predators and prey. So, for example, grazing mammals in East Africa track the rains because where the rains are, you get a lush vegetation of green grass, and that's what the mammals eat. Any disruption in the rainfall patterns due to a changing climate could make parts of the range for these animals unsuitable for them. There would no longer be the green grass they need. A second way that climate change could disrupt an important relationship is between predators and their prey. So migratory birds time their migration feast on lots of caterpillars that are uh, appearing during the spring. If the caterpillars start appearing earlier and earlier in response to warmer weather, by the time the migratory birds move north, they may no longer be around for the birds to eat. So this could result in the loss of an important food source for migratory birds. It could also, by the way, be harmful to the forests themselves because these migratory birds play an important role in reducing the number of caterpillars that are feeding on harming plants and things like trees. And how widespread is this problem, the threat to migration? Are there any safe havens left on Earth? There are animal migrations in decline around the world. There's really no place on Earth that hasn't witnessed some loss of migratory species. On the other hand, there are all continents, particular parks and other sanctuaries that do harbor large populations of certain migratory animals, whether it's birds or mammals or salamanders or fish. Uh, but the key 
is to protect more of the habitat in more places for these species. Because on the whole, many, many migratory species are threatened by the continued loss of their habitat, overharvest, and other threats. And what is it about this issue that you're drawn to? What makes migration special to you? I've always been fascinated with migration of animals. And I think it dates back to my childhood when I became very interested in birds. And if you're a bird watcher, there is no more exciting time of the year than the spring or fall migration. And seeing all of these colorful birds moving through in the spring or fall was always tremendously exciting and interesting to me. And that fascination carries over to the migrations of other animals, whether it's wildebeest marching across the Serengeti or salmon swimming upstream to spawn. I find it an amazing phenomenon and something that continues to fascinate. And finally, how can we prevent the loss of migration? What can, is there anything that the average person can do, or is this something that only scientists can put attention on? I think there are a number of things that people can do to slow or halt the decline of the great animal migrations. The first, of course, is to protect and restore habitats wherever possible. The second would be to be a conscientious consumer make sure, for example, that fish one buys are not over-exploited stocks of fish, that sort of thing. And the third, and perhaps the most important, is to support elected leaders who care about the environment. Because the very nature of migration, which involves the movements of animals across borders and boundaries, means that different states and different countries have to work together. And it's therefore essential that have political leaders who care enough about the environment to want to work cooperatively to protect the habitats of migratory species. David Wilkov is Professor of Ecology, Evolutionary Biology, and Public Affairs at Princeton University. You can learn more about this issue in his book, No Way Home, The Decline of the World's Great Animal Migrations, or by going to our website at www.islandpress.org.